Hello, I'm Mark, and this is In the Round. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use raking fingers to quickly move clay across a surface in order to build up mass. Position your hand like a rake, or like claws. Then, simply draw your hand firmly across the clay in the direction you want it to move. The objective here is to make a kind of rigid tool of your hand, roughly approximating a coarse-toothed serrated loop or rib, only with more sensitivity and control. This serration will dramatically reduce drag through the clay, making it far easier to move. This technique works best with soft clay, but can still be achieved with stiffer clay, as long as you're careful to secure it so that it doesn't peel off. It's important that you not extend your fingers as you work. Bent fingers are far stronger than straight fingers. You can compare the two against a firm surface to see the difference. So any technique that requires stability and control in the hand, wheel throwing for instance, will benefit from using bent fingers. As you work, some clay will come off and collect in the pearl of your fingers. Lay this clay back on wherever necessary to more quickly even out the surface. If you're building up specific muscles, as I am in this excerpt from my On Armature Bus tutorial series, it can be a good idea to work primarily in the direction of the muscle fiber's growth. Beyond that, you should do as you would with any tooling process and crosshatch over the surface to even out unwanted ridges or depressions. After developing a sufficient mass with your hands, you can further shape and refine your forms using serrated and smooth flexible ribs, loop tools, abrasives, and brushes. 